I'm a urologic oncologist at University of North Carolina, just helping patients have what they need to make a good decision for themselves. I think it's it, it's often surprising, but it is true that that if a man has prostate cancer, they can also have incidentally found bladder cancer, which is a bladder cancer that was perhaps found in for some other reason. There's some good evidence that there is a relationship between the two. The incidence of bladder cancer among pa patients with prostate cancer across all different types of treatments, et cetera, is about one and a half percent. One and a half percent is a low risk, but it is there. Um, and what they found was that patients who ended up having incidentally found bladder cancer and they had happened to have prostate cancer as well tended to be older. It's probably not a surprise because bladder cancer impacts older patients. Um, the median age for bladder cancer is 73 years. Smoking is a big risk, and we know that for lung cancer, it's a little less known for bladder cancer, but there's a really big association between bladder cancer and smoking. If you take all comers, prostatectomy versus men treated with radiation, uh, men who were treated with prostatectomy were approximately half as likely to develop post-treatment bladder cancer as those who underwent radiation therapy. So that suggests that there is an increased risk of bladder cancer among patients who get radiation therapy for prostate cancer. These are separate cancers. Uh, so prostate cancer um, is a form, like the, we call it the histology, it's a type of cancer called prostate adenocarcinoma. That's a, a particular type of cancer. Um, now, bladder cancer is called urothelial cancer. Some call it transitional cell, but it's a completely different cancer. So it actually is not believed that prostate cancer itself migrates into the bladder, and that's the risk. The risk associated with radiation is more so about what the radiation can do to tissue. And radiation can cause cancer. That is a known side effect of radiation. The risk of cancer from radiation the absolute risk is low, but that risk definitely is there and you know should be counseled when a patient's making their decision. We've been talking about having prostate cancer then being diagnosed with bladder cancer, but the reverse can also be true. You have bladder cancer and you incidentally find prostate cancer. That can often happen with you know the bladder being removed. But other treatments that are involved in in that treatment is are in that type of disease would be um, chemotherapy. Um, as well as, in some cases, chemo radiation, where you get both. Um, there are a couple of hypotheses of the relationship between bladder cancer and prostate cancer. That one of the hypotheses is that um, the progression of bladder cancer might be driven by androgen receptor signaling, which androgen receptors are, and you know, we use that for treatment for prostate cancer. And we know that is a major driver for prostate cancer progression. And we have some growing evidence to suggest that we see that in, in, this, in, in bladder cancer, which we also call urothelial cancer. And that might explain the increased risk of bladder cancer among men versus women when you take a look at the numbers, because bladder cancer is much more common among men than it is for women. The, the number one symptom for bladder cancer is what we call painless gross hematuria, which just means painless blood in the urine. They actually see blood in the urine, but it doesn't hurt. So I would say in the vast majority of cases, there's not many symptoms at all other than they see blood. And even one time seeing blood is a sign because it's often intermittent. It will come and go. And sometimes it goes for years. And if you're looking at race and the incidence of bladder cancer with prostate cancer is actually higher among white men. Um, why? I don't know. But that's what most of the epidemiologic studies show. That being said, uh, bladder cancer uh, is more likely to be advanced among Black men.